<laughs> listen, last night's podcast was fucking hilarious. You know, listen, when people tell you don't touch the edibles, don't touch the edibles, all right? <laughs> It's like when you go to the zoo, they tell you don't fuck with the lion. When you come to this desk, don't fuck with the edibles unless you have good intentions. So Paulie Shaw sure found that out the hard way last night. He called this morning, he said he puked, he had to pull over 18 times. Oh. a fucking nightmare. He puked on his sandals. Good for him. I was so scared when I came in here. No, nah, no, nah, this is like a vapor in here. Because I, I read... Uh, uh, ran, you know, Twitter, you don't see anybody's tweets anymore because you got so many people. All of a sudden, I see a tweet from you that says, R.I.P. Polly Shore. And I went, oh, fuck, like, Polly Shore died. Like, and so I start, like, I go over to the news to see what they're going to be saying in the news. And I'm like, oh, Polly's dead. And I'm like, holy fuck. And then I look at other comedians. I'm like, it hasn't even gotten to the news yet. Like, like Joey's got the inside track. And Polly died. So then I started thinking, I'm like, I felt really bad because <laughs> Polly and I weren't close. We didn't get along. And uh, I'm talking about, I'm like, he's dead now. <laughs> and uh, we didn't get along. And we got in this like argument like years ago. And I remember we got in the argument. This is like 15 years ago. He goes, you're never going to play my mom's comedy club ever, ever, ever. And I swear to God. I headlined for the first time the comedy store in San Diego this week. It was my first time working there. And I'm thinking, I killed Paul. <laughs> he found that. Yeah, yeah. And he was just like, fuck it, I'm going to Joey Diaz's and die. And I really thought he died. And I said to my wife, I'm like, I think Polly Shore died. And, uh, and it was like, and then I just looked at everyone else and then I saw all your comments. <laughs> and your fans were like, oh, don't eat the black stars. Oh, my God. Poor Paulie. Felicia called this morning. Michael's asking me what happened. She was laughing. How many? Oh, she thought he died too? Yeah, and then she read it, and then she saw some of the comments. Like, you and she knew what it meant when the Red Stars got him, you know, the fucking star. Oh, did he have Red Stars or Black ones? Last night, he had a blue one. Oh. But those red ones, those the blood ones, were out of them. <laughs> we're out of them until next week. Thank God. The purple I, ones, yeah. The purple I ones. I listened to you once, and it was like an education I got on... Uh, on edibles because I'm not good with them at all like I've had a really really bad time <laughs> it started out good and I wish it had stayed that way because I really enjoyed it the first time I did it second time loved it third time the maybe the worst 24 hours of my life yeah it's it's gonna take you in a weird direction it, um eight but hours then you gotta get back on then you gotta get back on the mule uh, yeah I get, as a kid like mule. with alcohol I would be fucking hugging the ball puking Me thinking too. it was I'm never a, gonna I'm end I'm a pukey but I, I could get back on the meal the, the next day, but with weed, it fuck with my head. I thought I went crazy, and I thought I wasn't coming back. I got a niece that took one of those stars one night and had a Fitbit on it. Oh, like the exercise thing. And she saw her heart rate <laughs> go up to like where it only goes when you work out. Like oh, that would make it get even worse. So she fucking didn't do them for like a year either. She's like, that that's terrible. It got in her head. See, once it gets in your head is the problem. That happens to me. Once it gets in your head, that's the problem. That's what was happening. Like, that's yeah, why yeah. yesterday I went to the store and I got a Rice Krispie treat. I almost ate it. And I go, I got to go to jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. I take one of those edibles and go to jiu-jitsu. It's not the same. It's a oh, real yeah, unpleasant yeah, yeah. situation. When somebody <laughs> gets on top of you, it's fucking crazy. You know, listen. Oh, yeah, you get paranoid. It's, it's really funny about what I'm going to tell you guys. And I've told you a thousand times, you know. Listen, I, uh, college, I don't fucking know. I, I got left back in the seventh grade. I'm not. <laughs> but anything I do know is because I did it and did it over. You know, like, yes, what was it? Yeah, yesterday at the weed store, we were talking about microdot acid. There was an older black woman there that was from Jersey, from East Orange, and she was talking about microdot acid, you know. And I laugh because people send me clips of Joe Rogan and Tom Segura and other comics saying how high my tolerance is. They think you're born with that. No, I, fr I freaked out. The reason why my tolerance is high is because I've been a, a dumpster all my life of drugs. I'm ashamed to admit <laughs> that, but it's the truth. A drug dumpster? I've been a drug dumpster <laughs> I'm all my I'm life. Ashamed, I'm ashamed that I laughed at it. Yeah. it no, so no, 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 no. It's the truth. <laughs> this is what you get for fucking being an asshole. People laugh at you. Right? I feel so. When you're an asshole, people laugh at you. And when you admit you're an asshole, you have to take the laughter for admitting you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm a garbage dumpster, you know, and I feel bad for Lee, but I'm trying to, when Lee eats these edibles, I'm not trying to fuck with Lee. I'm a, just a little bit, like 10%. Listen, man, this podcast is about one thing, not believing the hype. 
No, Joey, if, I, I, if I want the listeners never to believe what they're telling you. It's like, well, Lee, tell them. We go to airports. I don't give a fuck whether I got a coach ticket. I go on the first line ticket, first class line ticket. That's just the way it is. And by the way, he does this with with me or without oh, yeah. me. But he does this at 5 a.m. as high as he is right now. Right now. I get he, stoned to the gills. Like he's going to break I don't the law. Believe, oh. I tell people this podcast is about believing in yourself <laughs> and not believing the bullshit. Okay, because I, I look at people. Since I was a kid, I've listened to people. And I've said, this guy, is this guy retarded? 